Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here with your weekend anomaly update. This is for the weekend of, let's see, September 6th through 8th of 2024. So uh, we are in the midst or the very beginning of the latest expedition called the Aquarius Expedition. I have just literally just a couple minutes ago finished my first run through in my normal save. So we're going to have a little bit of a special time today. Real quick, we're just going to take a couple minutes and hit our Quicksilver vendor over here. And we're going to go ahead and get our expedition rewards. Uh, they do involve some posters but they also involve some customizations maybe we'll get a first look at these customizations at this point so let's go ahead and as you can see here they are so we got our lost anglers rig we're going to go ahead and grab that i'm going to be putting it on one of my multi-tools here i'm going to go ahead and grab the posters the tentacled figurine that looks hilarious i'm looking forward to doing that it's a starship interior adornment so i don't know how that's going to work out when i put it on my ship but we'll see what happens uh, I'll get the Aquarius decal. I'm not going to get these right now, so that's not important. But one thing we do get that you don't see in here are some um, customizations to your person, your appearances, if you will. And I don't see them in here, so I'm guessing I've already got them. Hold on a second here. Mealworms. Hmm, very nice. I'm not sure why it told me that. Oh, it gave me all the uh, blueprints for all the... Um, stuff what do you call it the the lures if you will uh let's see here hang on a second because i thought i saw something appearances okay so we do have the aquarius flight packs so i've already got it and the deep sea armor the helmet the leggings the flippers this ought to be interesting let's take a look at that shall we really excited to show you this let's see what it looks like all right here we are so, we're going to st stick with the same race body type, blah, 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 blah. Okay, helmet type. Deep sea helmet. Well, isn't that interesting? What kind of markings can we put on this? Oh, that looks neat. I think I like the other one better. Yeah, I like that better. I'm going to go with that one. Uh, it's already got my colors on it, so we're going to keep going. <clears throat> Mostly purple and black. Is what I've got. The yellow is reflected in the uh, in the light in the front. That's pretty neat. I might actually switch over this temporarily. We'll go through the expedition with it. Uh, pardon me, the anomaly uh, mission with it. All right. So now we get the construct chest, which we're not going to do. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Armor. Okay. Here we go. Wanderer's cloak. Returner's drape. Oh, these. Yes, of course. These are for the Atlantid expedition. Uh, Atlantid uh, uh, missions, I should say. And now you have. The, the chitin exoskeleton, of course, which I'm not going to be using, and then the deep sea armor. Whoa, okay, that's pretty neat. We'll go with the same markings as the helmet. I'm actually thinking this is looking pretty good. All right, so the gloves, we don't have gloves for this, so we're going to skip that. I'm going to leave it the way I am right now. Uh, legs, let me see here. Deep sea leggings, okay, so there they are. I'm, live, I'm loving the lights all over this thing. This is really neat. Same markings. We'll go with that. Boots. We should have them. Yep, deep sea flippers. Number two. That's pretty cool. I wonder if they do anything. We're going to find out, I guess. And of course, the backpack. We're going to get rid of the cape for now. I always love my organic frigate cape, but I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it for now. Uh, so it defaults back to my regular... Uh, uh, alpha jetpack. You got all these jetpacks. You got the retro one, your streamlined one, which I always thought was pretty good. Exotic, pretty neat. The wings pop out. I do like that. This one is just too bulky to me. Uh, the Atlas flight pack, which which I do like as an alternative. <clears throat> Let me see. Uh, the Chitin one. Neat, but not my style. Aquarius. Huh. That's pretty cool. I think I'm going to stick with that. We're going to keep off with the cape there. We're going to go with the deep sea markings, number two. Or should we go three? I think I'm going to go with number one on this one. I do like the the purple on the outside on, the, on these areas over here. Okay, good. All right, and let's take a look at the rest of me. There I am in my entirety. All right, and the backpack, what, uh, let me see. Plasma, Fusion, Pyrotechnic, we got the Festive one, Scorching. I haven't acquired all the ones up here on purpose. I, I wasn't really interested in the Ghastly Trail. 
perhaps the bubble trout would be really neat. I should I should go ahead and put that in. That would be neat for underwater and stuff. It would almost be fitting for this. Electric seems to just be wrong. I don't know why. Discordant? Ooh. Forgot how neat that looked. Let's go distordant. Uh, discordant. At this point. I like that. Alright, we're going to keep this for now. So, very interesting. I like it. I like it. We're going to stick with this through our, through our whole anomaly mission. So, let's get started in the anomaly mission. I'm sure we're all wondering what it is. Although, by the title, you probably already know before I do at this point. So, there you are. Weird how that works. Terrestrial home. We're going to construct an underwater outpost. How fitting. How fitting this is. So, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we're going to get batteries and some nanites. And, obviously, we get our 1800 Quicksilver. So, let's get started. Off we go. There we go. Mission started, as it says. We're going to go ahead and take our ship here. We're going to stick with our raptor for now. Alright, it should be hyper jumping us into that system right now. There we go. So hopefully you guys have been playing a little bit of the expedition. The fishing portion of things, it can get tedious. I will tell you that from my own point of view. For someone who likes to speed run, obviously, and, uh, and move along in these expeditions, to take four hours or more to do this expedition is just... It's a little bit antagonizing. It's not antagonizing. That's not the right word. It's a little bit annoying, I guess. But now that I've done it one time and I have the access to all these items in my inventory, well, you know, there we go. You know, I can now do it anytime I want and just have some fun. So, habitable planet. We obviously want. It's probably going to take us elsewhere. There it is. Okay, good. There's the planet we're going to be heading towards. Before we do, don't we have something we need to add here? There he is. Now, I don't know if it'll show up in our dashboard, because we still have Polo there, right? So let me see what happens if I remove Polo for now. We're going to do that. My inventory is getting kind of full here. Now let's take a look. Oh, dude. That is really, really cool. I wish I could keep Polo on there, because Polo adds a little bit of a benefit to it, but I love this guy. I don't even know if it does anything for your ship. Uh, let's see. So what do we got? 306, 308, 17, 20, 14, 76. So let's uninstall. I see no difference. Sometimes when you install them, it does something for you. It seems to be interacting with these, th th these items up here, with the star trails. How do I have two star trails here? Okay, let's pull one out. All right, so. Is that the Aqua Jets? It is. So it seems to interact with Nada and Polo and with our temporal starship trails. Yes, it does. It doesn't interact with anything else. Interesting. All right, we're going to leave it there for now. Uh, the other thing we want to do is in my multi-tool, this is my main multi-tool, I'm going to go ahead and add the fishing rod in. There it is. It's the Lost Angler's Rig, is what we're putting in here. We should have access to the other one, I think. No? Okay, so we'll just have to use this one. We'll need salt, we need silver, and we do need two hydraulic wirings. Uh, let me do that real quick. I want to add that in. There we go. One, two. All right. Multi-tool, and it is now added in. Okay, so we now have a fishing rod on our multi-tool. Go figure. I can now shoot sentinels, destroy walkers, and I can catch fish. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> no, I didn't get any of the traps. The traps I think I left behind in the anomaly. I'll have to go grab those later on, and I'll show you where to get them. If you can do the uh, mission, pardon me, the expedition in your main save, you can go back and pick up some items and bring them over with you. So I gotta go back and get those. Alright, what do we got here? We have to construct an underwater base here. This looks plenty... plenty nice. Looks like it's gonna be a cold area. I'm just gonna go out here just a little bit. Since we can land on the water now. 
This looks okay. Yeah, let's just go here. There we go. Now, yep, Wintry. Sentinels are frequent. Average flora and fauna. Copious amounts of uh, fauna, it says. Very good. So here we go. Habitable planet reach. Establish a construction site. Uh, one explorer deploy a base computer underwater. Okay, so I guess we ought to get started, huh? Now, I can't say whether we swim faster. It doesn't seem to be. It doesn't seem to be any difference in swimming. So I think it's mostly just cosmetic, kind of like the armor you can get. All right, so let's drop down a base computer. And for those of you who didn't know, yes, you can build a base computer underwater. Absolutely you can. You can build underwater bases and have one under the under the ocean. Okay. Uh, we're going to claim that base. There we go. And as we come back in, it'll give us our next step. There we go. All right, so we have to build a deep water chamber. Oh, look at you, huh? Uh, let's see. How about that? There we go. I don't want him bugging me. There we go. All right. Let's see what we got here. So, I am going to do something a little different here. So, it wants me to build this, but I'm going to do something a little different because I don't want to just put it on the ground. I'm going to build it up just... A little bit. I'm going to use these as stanchions. Okay, good. Let's go back up here, and we're going to build the base. All right, deep water. I want to put it on top, and then I'm going to go back in here, and I'm going to delete those out so they're open out out of the out of the uh, area now. All right, good. So what's next? Uh, moon portal floor. So we'll go back in here. We're going to do that. There it is. What am I missing? Oh, I need three crystal sulfides. Really? I should have a ton of those things. Um, let me see. Can I pull in my freighter? I gotta go back up to the surface. Hang on a second. We'll get there. Lots of neat fish. They really have some, done some things to the ocean. Those little guys over there will attack you, by the way. Okay. Okay. Now can we summon our freighter? Cannot warp the freighter here still. All right, hold on. Where's ship? That's going to be a common uh, common thing for me. You will always hear me say, where's my ship? I think I have to be out of the water to summon it. And I know I have some of my cargo containers on my uh, ship, so. All right, let's try it again. I'm not trying to land here. There we go. Boom. Okay, now we should have access to it. Let's see. Yep, there we go. Crystal sulfides. Now, you can get some underwater here, obviously. If you take a look around through your scope, look for those. Crystal sulfides, you can gather them from the hot fence hall over the bottom of the ocean. But I knew I had some, so I figured I would go ahead and just, you know, use them. All right. So, let's go ahead and build this now. Uh, moon porter floor. There we go. Okay. Am I in the way? There we go. Neat. Now we can do it from inside. Uh, glass tunnels. Let's go ahead and get some glass tunnels going. Uh, there they are. And we have plenty of glass, so... Uh, let's put one here. And, yeah, one right there is okay. Let's do that. Alright, good. What else? What else? A glass cuboid room. Let's take a look. Glass cuboid. I think that's down here. There it is. Yep. That looks like a good spot. Now what? Well, isn't that neat? Very pretty. So you can do some really cool bases underwater if you want. Alright, so we need to do some decorating, it said. Uh, let's see. There we go. Uh, we need a sphere, a bed, a robotic arm, and a tube light. Hmm. Okay. There's our sphere. Requires 20 ferrite dust. 
Uh, let's see. I'll just put you on the side over here. I guess we don't have to go crazy. If you really want to go crazy, it's up to you. Uh, bed is over here. Bed. There it is. A condensed carbon. Want to put it in the water? We can put it underwater if we want. Sleep on it. I don't think that would be wise. Fish be nibbling at your toes all night. Really wouldn't get good quality sleep that way. Uh, robotic arm. Here it is. Your ferrite is what's required for that. Uh, I'm going to put this right here. I think it would be very appropriate to be right in the center. Okay, good. And tube lights. Lighting is over here. Do, 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 do. do I not have tube lights? Let's find out. Oh, for crying out loud, they were right there. I probably went right past them, didn't even see them. All right. So let's put one... Right there. And Beeble Bum, don't watch this because this is probably going to make you go crazy. There we go. Got to upload the base. And that's pretty much it. That's all you got to build. You can add power to this if you want and give power to your station. That was pretty neat. Here's my base computer. So what you do is you do this. Logged in as guest. Upload report pending. Upload the base. And that's all you have to do. And it is now complete. And your base is complete. Now I may leave this here for now. I may come back here and actually make a little fishing village in here. We'll see what happens. Let's get a little power to this. You don't have to go crazy with it. Uh, where are we here? Power. I'm going to add in a battery. And you just put it right on top. Because it'll link right to it. And then you go ahead and add in a couple solar panels. Uh, I need some metal plates for those. You think I would have metal plates on me, right? I create them as I go. There we go. One. Two. And we'll put a third one right there. And then what we'll do here is... Because obviously, this place won't stay charged. I'm going to do this anyway. You don't have to do this. This isn't part of the mission. Um, I'm going to stick a biofuel reactor in here. I need one more metal plate for that. I forgot. My bad. Just make that real quick. This is a backup fuel source. There you go. And you can just go ahead and put some fuel in it. doesn't make a difference what it is. Any of these will work. And there you go, 50 hours of output. So you can see we're only using a little bit of power usage right now. And grid power is charging up. So we'll come and we'll build a, uh, maybe a, uh, what do you call it? A portal or something right here, sooner or later. All right. That looks really neat from underneath here. So it's already nighttime, as you can see, and the solar panels are, you know, shutting down. Okay, let's head back to our ship. So again, this, uh... These, this armor we have on is purely um, cosmetic only. It does nothing really for your character. But frankly, I think it looks pretty cool. So I may just keep this. I may get the bubble. I, I, I don't usually have the bubbles as far as the bubble jetpack is concerned, but I may do that. We'll see what happens here. All right. So up we go. Pass my freighter. Let's pull in, pull in the anomaly. I think we have to get further out. What do you think? Wow. Okay. Yeah, we really had to go far out. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we had to go pretty far out from our from our planet and uh, from this. So yeah, wild. All right, here we go. Back to the anomaly. Let's get our reward. Okay. Now again, like I said, I did complete the expedition in this save, so I've got to go to that terminal in the back and get my uh, other stuff I forgot to pick up earlier. There we go. Let's head over to the Nexus. Ooh, we got a special mission in there. Maybe we should do that too while we're here. 
let's do this. See the purple question mark? We'll tell we'll tell you about that in a second. So we're gonna complete our expedition. Expedition. Our mission, I should say. There are it is. We got ten batteries out of it. Eleven of them. And we got our Quicksilver, of course. I've got a little bit of Quicksilver saved up. But you see this icon here? Every now and then you'll see a purple one. You don't see this too often. We're going to go in here real quick and check it out. Uh, let's see. It's right here. So what you'll get out of this, it looks like you're going to get a rattle spine out of it. You don't usually see that kind of too often. You have to find that on a planet. So that's a pretty cool thing. You have no idea what the mission is. And you're going to for 537 nanites. Anybody can do this mission. You don't have to be at any particular level. They just pop up on occasionally. So there's something about Polo and Nada. Uh, so we have no idea. So we're going to get Rattlespine and some Nanites. I want to do this real quick. So let's make this a special episode. And we're going to go ahead and start that. Now we do have a couple minutes before, the, before it auto disappears. So let's hit this real quick, this terminal. This is where your expeditions can be done from. And as you can see, i got a whole bunch of items I can take. So I'm going to take some items. This had... Oh, look at that. It doesn't show the... I kept this on purpose because of the fact that it had the uh, some stuff on it. Anyway, it's not important. Let me go ahead and grab these real quick. Yep, glass as well. I, I wanted to get the most valuable components that I could get that I would need. Got the angler. There it is. Got some lures. I'm going to put that in my exosuit as well as some traps and chromatic metal, obviously. And we got some upgrades. Uh, I'm just going to sell those, so I'll put it in my person here. Uh, probably going to store them someplace. And these are ship upgrades. Rusted technology I'm going to hang on to for now. There we go. Anything else I can get real quick? I think that's it, right? We can create the multi-tool and we can create the starship, but I didn't like either of them. So, too bad. All right. We're on limited time. we got to hurry back to our ship. See? Minute and 28 seconds, it says. So, we want to get out of here and do this particular mission. So, we got a special mission today. That's awesome. Let's see where this takes us. Not often you get that, so I wanted to at least cover this particular mission. Ah, okay, so in the same place. Uh, fauna dense planet located. Over there. Okay. Let's head over there. Oh, I like the... I like that a lot. That's our uh, our dissident trail. I like that. I like how it does that to the rear of the ship. That is really, really cool. Hopefully you can make it out in the video while I'm in pulse. There we go. So see? Is that really neat or what? I'm liking that. They must have upgraded that. I like that a lot. Alright, so what do we got to do here? We're at the planet. I see a, a, a... What do you call it? A broken freighter here. Let's go ahead and land. We'll use its landing spot. There we go. Land on the planet's surface. Okay, good. It's something to do with fauna. I don't know what it wants me to do. Alright, yes, yes, yes. Tame wildlife. We have to tame 47 wildlife. Okay, so let's go in our inventory here. Uh, we need creature pellets. There we go. I've only got four. There. Should be enough. Something just flew over me. Yes. Anybody landing? No? Interesting planet. Very hot. Hi there. There we go. So how many creatures do I see him? But I, I want bunches of them. So are there bunches of them anywhere? We got some flying ones couple ground plate based ones. I'll go ahead and drop one down. I think if I'm not mistaken, I have my creature pellet set to a hot key. I do not. Okay, we're going to set that to 9. All right. So anytime I want to drop something, I just put that down and it looks like we got a couple creatures coming at it. And all we need to do is do that. We don't have to get them as pets or anything like that. So find a bunch of creatures. And you don't have to stay on this planet. If this doesn't have really the 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 density needed, like, like you can see, I've only got one creature here. You know, if you find that that's the case, look for another planet. So it looks like we got a couple of them. Q. 
Okay, a few more. What are we up to? Four. This will give me a few more. Seven. Ten. Okay, so that's pretty good. All right, I think we'll stick around here. Eleven. That's pretty good, too. Well, let's go to another area. And that's all you have to do here, folks. So it's, an, it's nothing special about the mission. It's usually a pretty standard mission. Alright, good. We're up to 15. And yeah, again, nothing special. We don't have to worry about any of the creatures here. And your, your mission may differ from mine. It may be a completely different mission. But you get the rattle spine. I mean, the rattle spine is kind of a hard thing to come by unless you're searching out some planets on your own. Um, not a bad idea to go ahead and do it when it comes comes around. Um, weird. Ooh, look at them all. Hold on. There's uh, about five more right there. Six more. Good. All right. Good. 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 There we go. You see the clock is counting up there on the right. Twenty-one. Just go someplace else over here. There's a few more. And that's what you do. Just wander around. Oh, whoa, I'm about to run over. Okay. I'll drop one more down right here for anybody who wants it. Okay, good. Uh, let's go someplace else. Curious deposit. Nice. Let's check it out. How many are there? Wow, two. In case you're wondering about this, you want to use your laser. And you get runaway mold from it, usually in the hundreds. In this case, I got about 1,500 just from those two. And you can turn those into nanites. Okay, let's do these guys. Got another four there. Maybe five. I'll put one out for him, too. Why not? So we're up to 33 now, and we're just kind of circling our ship. I must have hit a... Yeah, I hit a dihydrogen on the way past. Let's go over here until we see more animals. There was a couple more right there. Well, at least one anyway, right? There we go. That gives me five or six more. Hey, buddy. Good to see you. You bouncing mushroom, you. Love it. Okay, any more down here? Sometimes the animals don't generate immediately, so you gotta wait. And they'll show up. Not him. It. I think it is a better word for that. There we go. Put one over there. It looks like we got a trader just landed nearby. Probably when I was walking past. Okay, looks like we got a couple more. Looks like we only have six more to go. Seven more, it says, but... Um, dude. You need help there, man? Wheelchair or something? That was the weirdest thing I'd seen. Alright, good deal. What do we got over here? Up to 43. This will be 44. I think there was a couple over here. Way in the distance. Okay. More over here. Let's go over here. Okay. So these are the last... These are two right here. And I could use one more after that. There's one over there. Okay, let's just head over there. Alright, and just start heading back to your ship. So we're done with this. That was funny. The barrel was situated in such a way it looked like a spotlight. That was neat. Okay, so we're done. Just in time. It looks like I've actually got an actual storm coming in at my house. Not in-game. 
So this is a good time to maybe get to the end of this episode before it really hits hard. All right, so we got all 47. That's all we had to do. Flop. Hurt my feet. And I'd gather the materials from here, but I'm not, you know, hurting for any materials right now. So let's go ahead and take off. Back out we go. And we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're just going to pull in the anomaly. There we go. So one more time, we're going to head into the anomaly and get this reward. So we got a double reward today. I know this is a longer episode than usual, but we did cover a lot of ground. So uh, as I started to say before, I found this extra mission that I needed to do. Um, thank you for watching. And I hope you've been doing the expedition. This uh, fishing expedition is pretty cool. I do like it. It's very relaxed. I'm actually looking forward to going to some of my main bases that I have and checking them out and seeing what I can get. That is a pretty cool looking suit, man. I'm telling you. Let's uh, let's check something out here real quick. I know this is a long episode, but hey, uh, let's see. I think it was an expedition reward. Uh, appearances. Bubble pack. Let's see what that looks like. I really want to see it because I think with the Aqua Jetpack, it will be really cool. One more time. So backpack. Uh, this one, bubble trail. Okay. Let's save that and see what it looks like. Come on. Is that not appropriate or what? That is awesome. I'm going to stick with that for now. We're going to do do that. All right. So we have no other expedition, uh, pardon me, any other rewards right now in here. If we go to the number one spot, uh, exotic items, you'll see that we have these. We have a scrambled signal poster. We have ship parts poster, which is very interesting. We're getting there. We're at 60%. So keep up these missions, guys. And then the bake sale poster. Okay. So you keep doing these anomaly missions, and you're going to add up to that as we do those missions, okay? So keep them up, and we will get those things unlocked sooner or later. So I'm going to jump in and out of my ship real quick here. And if you want to return to your main system... Oh, I forgot to turn in the... I'm sure you were always saying, wait, wait, turn in your mission. Yep, you're right. I forgot. I got excited. There we go. And complete the mission. So we got our rattle spine. And our nanites. There it is. Rattlespine. Rattlespine is a decorative item. Again, you can get it from special planets. You can find them there. You'll know which ones I'm talking about. They're exotics. Exotic curiosities. And then you can put them on your bases and stuff like that. You can use them for cosmetic purposes. And if you want to get back to the system you were at before, simply exit the space station. Pardon me. The anomaly. And it will bring you back to your previous system. And you'll be all set. And we're going to end this mission in the space station. Again, I want to thank you all for watching. Um, again, this anomaly mission is coming out on Friday evening on the 6th of September. And we will most likely... I've kicked around doing a live stream on Saturday evening. Uh, at least for a couple of hours. Maybe for like two, maybe three hours tops. Just to complete out the, um, the Aquarius uh, mission live... The Aquarius Expedition Live, I should say. And uh, I really am looking forward to doing that with you guys. So let me head in here. Okay. Now, one thing I do want to check real quick. I don't think I have access to the systems that my new character is on in the Expedition. It is an abandoned uh, galaxy, from what I understand. So I'm very interested to see what happens with that. Um, let me just check, because I don't think we have access to it. Um, my bases. And they'll be at the very end, since they're new. I do have access to it. <sighs> Isn't that something? So I can go back to this system. It says Rendezvous 4, and there's another one I created at Rendezvous 1, of course. So the fact that I can get to these bases... That's very interesting. So I can go back to the base at Rendezvous 4. I named it Trap Base because I had traps set up there. Very interesting. So we can get back to it, but it doesn't mention it's in a different system. Like this one's in a different galaxy. This one's not. 
So I'm going to have to check that out later. We'll, we'll take a look at that probably on Saturday night. I'm not going to look at it now. That's not the purpose of this video. It was for the anomaly missions. So again, I want to thank you all for watching. And we're going to go ahead and call it here. And we want to thank you again for being here. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.